Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Jo. This week I'm co-hosting music lessons with Carlos. See you! Welcome everybody to another live session in music lesson webinar with Carlos. Today we will cover different topics such as ear training, music theory, keyboard skills, chord progressions and contemporary voicings. We also have some new piano tutorials, so stay tuned and let's get started. Thank you, thank you, Sarah, Joe, for, for this uh, um, video tutorial on Blues for Alice, originally by Charlie Parker. Okay, we have a lot to do, a lot to do. And what are we going to do first? I want to do a warm-up. I want to do not this warm-up. I want to do something else. Let me see. I want to do, yes, I want to do this warm up, but I, I need to change my piano. So just bear with me. Yeah. And that's going to take me one second. Okay. Very simple warm up. Yeah, it's going to take us like 30 seconds. And I love to do this before I, I write. I'm, I pro, <clears throat> any creative endeavor, I just makes me feel that I'm in a, larger space in relationship to my playing. That's why I call it open space. Yeah, we're gonna explore just seven uh, positions on the keyboards, yeah? So why don't, we uh, why don't we work out together? And here is the trick, yeah? I'm gonna ask you to play 10 notes at random, which means you're, you're not gonna judge. You're not gonna say, oh, only white notes are in this key. No, whatever happens. <laughs> Okay, 10 notes at random. Yeah, so we're going to practice playing notes at random. Middle register, 10 notes at random. Bottom register, same thing, 10 notes random. Upper register, now 10 notes random. Middle register but crossed. Right hand crossing left. Bottom register, same thing, right hand crossing left. Now we're going to go to the high register, but left hand crossing right. And wide apart. Okay, that takes 
30 seconds or <laughs> maybe a bit more in the beginning yeah but i just i love this little practice so we're gonna do a quick pass yeah so two hands 10 fingers middle register playing 10 notes at random anything goes bottom top metal crossed bottom crossed top crossed and wide apart okay good i think we're good yeah that was a nice little warm-up and now i want to do i want to do something else i want to start with my uh, ear training I'm going to do solfege ear training. I want to work with this blues progression, but I want to change my keyboard again. Okay, good. Actually, I'm getting faster in this. Okay, good. So here we have um, a jazz or bebop blues progression, the key of G. And we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a very interesting workout. Yeah, we're going to uh, first we're gonna just sing the bass line, and then we're gonna sing all the chord tones, is uh, uh, arpeggiating them. Yeah, ascending in an ascending way. Okay, so this is how we're do. We're using movable do. So here we we're gonna do one pass. A one, two. And do, do, sol, do, fa, fi, do, mi, la, re, sol, turn around. Okay, so now we're gonna take it to another level. We're gonna sing the bass, but we're not gonna play the bass, yeah? We're gonna play our voicings, you know, in the upper register, yeah? If you're playing guitar, yeah, you can do something, something mm. like that. So here we go. Do, fa, do, sol, do, fa, fi. Okay, that's a nice little warm up. Okay, why don't we do it again? A one, two, three, and do, fa, do, sol, do, fa, fi, do, mi, la, re, sol. Okay, now, now we're going to play and sing. Okay, so here we have G7. We're in the key of G, yeah? So we have G7, Do, Mi, Sol, Te, C7. Fa, La, Do, Me, back to G7. Do, Mi, Sol, Te, then we have a 2, 5, or 4. Sol, te, re, fa, do, mi, sol, te, fa, la, do, mi. Then we have a sharp four diminished. Fi, la, do, mi. Back to one seven. So, do, mi, sol, te. And then we have a two five of the two. Mi, sol, te, re, E seven flat five. La, di, me, sol. I'm putting a flat five because I usually hear here an altered chord. Yeah, so if I'm not gonna have extensions, I'm only gonna have chord tones, then I'm gonna choose probably a dominant seven flat five. La, di, me, sol. 
two minor. Re, fa, la, do, D7. So, T, Re, Fa. Now we have here a nice turnaround. Do, Mi, Sol, Te, La, Ti, Me, Sol. Re, Fa, La, Do, So, T, Re, Fa, Do. So, when I play and sing, sometimes I take the liberty, you know, I may play the chord up in active or down in active. Okay? Mm. But outside of that, everything should be fine. Should be the same. So, so here we go. One, two, three, and do mi sol te. Fa do mi. Do mi sol te. Sol te re fa do mi sol te fa la do mi. to five of two. Mi sol te re la di me sol re fa la do. So ti re fa. Do mi sol te la di me sol re fa la do. So ti re fa do. That's a nice workout. Very nice workout. Let's do it again. Three and. Do mi sol te fa la do me do mi sol te sol te re fa do mi sol te fa la do me ti la do me do mi sol te mi sol te re la ti mi sol re fa la do Okay, nice workout. Let's do it again. One last time, one last time. Three and do mi sol te fa la do me do mi sol te sol te re fa do mi sol te fa fa la do me ti la do me do mi sol te Sol te re la ti me sol re fa la do sol ti re fa do mi sol te la ti me sol re fa la do sol ti re fa do. Okay, that type of workout that really helped me. Yeah, whenever I want to work with a different song, if I can do a basic warm up with chord tones, you know, then uh, the ascending or descending that kind of gets the whole harmonic sound, yeah, in uh, already in my mind. Okay, I want to do, I want to do something else. So there, I want to try a lot of different things. Okay, whoops, whoops. Okay, one moment. I'm going to correct this. Perfect. Okay. What I want to do is clusters, but some, it, we, we have done clusters a lot. But I want to do clusters in a modal interchange format. Yeah, so here we are going to start with a major scale, and then we're going to do Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixo, Aeolian, Locrian, and then back to major. Yeah, so we're going to start easy. We're going to start with the key of C. And there you have the uh, layout, yeah, the solfege uh, layout and left and right hand because we're going to eventually press all the notes so we can create a geometrical shape of all the notes uh, pressed. And we're going to call it a cluster. Yeah, it's cluster by definition. It's a chord made out of consecutive seconds. So that's what we're going to do. So here we go, key of C, and then we're going to change other keys. We're going to go, we're going to explore a lot. Okay, C. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now Dorian. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. 
region, we have a flat two. Do, ra, mi, ba, so, flat six. Le, te, do, cluster. Now when we just rest there for a little bit. Now we're going to go to Lydian mount. We have a sharp four. Do, re, mi, fi, so, la, ti, do. And we rest. Let's move on to mixo. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do. And natural minor or aeolian mode. So we have a le flat six. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do. And we're going to go to locrian mode. So we have a flat two and a flat five. Do, ra, mi, fa, se, le, te, do. And we end up on major. Okay, that's a nice workout. Okay, so we're going to go to a different key. Yeah, that's the purpose of me not writing the notes. We have to learn how to visualize them in all 12 keys just with a code. In this case, the code would be, in this case, the solfege syllables, yeah? And we're going to use them to transpose and be able to visualize them in all different keys. Okay, so now, which key should we do? Let's go to G. But now we're going to go descending. Okay, descending. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Okay, and now Dorian descending in G. Do, Te, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Cluster. And we rest. Now let's move on to Phrygian mode. Do. Okay, so <laughs> we're reading now backwards. We're reading from right to left. Do, Te, Le, Sol, Fa, Mi, Ra, because we have a flat two. Do. Cluster and we rest. Okay, and let's go to Lydian mode. So let's pay attention to the sharp four. Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fi, Mi, Re, Do. And notes together. Cluster, we've rest a couple seconds. Now let's go to Mixo Lydian mode. Do, Te, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, and together. And let's go to natural minor, aeolian mode. So we have a flat six, yeah? Do, te, le, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Together. We always rest for a couple seconds. Now let's do Locrian mode in G. Do, te, le, se, yeah, flat five, se, fa, mi, ra, do. Okay, and this is how it looks like. Yeah, it's very important to rest so we get the visual component. Yeah, and then we end up on major. Okay, good. Should we do one more key? Yes, let's do one more key. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. And how about now we're going to push ourselves. How about E flat? Yeah, let's do an E flat, but this ascending. Yeah, so that E flat, if we go to Locrian, probably we're going to name it as a D sharp. Yeah, but uh, just we're just working graphically. Yeah, so it won't be too much of a, a problem. <coughs> okay, major scale, everything ascending. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And then cluster and we rest. And let's go to Dorian mode, yeah, in E flat. Now even could be, yeah, Dorian mode in E flat. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do, together. And let's rest there. Now we're going to go to Phrygian mode. In this case, we're going to, we should see it as a D sharp, yeah? So here we go. Do, ra, mi, fa, so, Together. 
we rest. Now let's go to E flat Lydian. So again, now it's E flat. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Do re mi fi so la ti do together. And let's go to mixolydian mode. Yeah, then still E flat. Do re mi fa so. We're gonna go to natural minor. Yeah, natural minor. Natural minor, this could be either E flat or D sharp, either one. So here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, le, te, do. And let's go to Locrian mode. Now, we shouldn't call it E flat, but D sharp. Yeah, Locrian mode is in relationship to E, E major. Yeah. Do, ra, mi, fa, se, le, te, do, and together. And we rest, and then we finish in major. Okay, yeah, so this is actually very interesting. Yeah, so eventually, yeah, you also can challenge yourself just going directly. Major, Dorian, Phrygian. Lydian, Mixo, Aeolian, Locrian, and Major. Yeah, so that's going to help you. Yeah, you're improvising. Let's say in E flat, Major. Now we're going to go to Dorian. How about, uh, uh, let's go to uh, Locrian. So, yeah, we're just uh, uh, vibing those melodies out and uh, using modal interchange yeah, over the key of E flat. Yeah, so so that's that's the whole purpose, yeah, to be able to see things, yeah, um, see all different scales, you know, almost like Photoshop, one on top of the other one, yeah. And when we improvise, yeah, that uh, gives us enormous amount of freedom. Let's say we even let's say we're kind of vibing a. Uh, two five one. Yeah, let's see. And then, of course, we can start in hearing melodies in Dorian. But then we can do other things. So I'm going to parallel scales, yeah? I'm forcing myself to hear in parallel scales. Okay, good, good. What are we going to do next? Let's work with some chords. I was exploring, exploring, and okay, I have to change my camera. And this is what I love. Just with one click, I can get all my setup. Okay, we're gonna explore a pentatonic scale. I didn't write the solfege, but I'm just gonna sing. Do, re, mi, sol, la, do, root, nine, three, five, six, root. And then we're gonna create diatonic chords on a pentatonic scale. And the way we're gonna create this, we're gonna um, alternate yeah, our pentatonic notes. So here I have a root, alternate, so I'm not, not going to play the second degree. And then instead of playing the fifth degree, I'm going to play the sixth degree. Yeah, so I'm alternating notes. So I'm skipping one note in the middle. Yeah, and I'm going to do the same with the first, second degree. Yeah, skipping the third, going to the fifth, skipping the sixth, going to the root. 
Now I'm gonna go to the third degree, same, same technique, skip the five, going to the six, skip the root, going to the nine. And now I'm gonna start with the fifth degree. I'm gonna skip the six, going to the root, skip the nine, going to the three. Yeah, and I'm gonna do another chord, this time on the sixth degree, skipping the root, going to the nine, skip the three, going to the five. And then I end up again on the first chord. So it's gonna sound like this. Not bad, actually it's very nice, yeah? Yeah, so now we're gonna do a few things. How about we can actually just practice going up and down? Descending. And that would be probably the first step. Yeah? Then how about if we add a bass line? Very, you know, then, wow, it just adds another element. So, also, I'm gonna keep this bass line. Yeah, it's a very, very common bass line. You know, it kind of derives from a basic triad, major triad. But then we're gonna take the second note and we're gonna place it up in active. Yeah, so those of you who are um, familiar with the drop two technique, this is backwards, this is like the up two from the bottom. Yeah, so. Yeah. Now, instead of playing a chord, yeah, block chord, I'm gonna break them down. How about we break them down? Yeah, let's just break them. Yeah, and then with the bass line. Maybe even we go one. Now we're gonna go descending. I think it sounds great. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, the same in a, a different key. Okay, so why don't we go to key of F? Do, re, mi, sol, la, do. We're gonna build our chords. We know that we always skip one note of the pentatonic scale. So, yeah, so we do the do, mi, la. And I'm gonna start second degree. I'm gonna skip the mi. I'm gonna go to sol. Skip the la. Go into do. I'm gonna go to the third degree. Yeah, skipping the five. Go to six. Skip the do. Go to nine. Going starting from the fifth degree. Skip the six. Going to root. Skip the second. Going to three. And then starting from the sixth degree. I'm gonna skip the root. Going to nine. Skip the three. Going to five. Yeah, and then I have this nice, yeah, very nice um, chords, yeah, that we can use in so many different ways. Yeah. First step, we're just going to play up and down. Yeah, and our left hand is just going to play a pedal for us. Again. Yeah, so that's very cool. Next, what are we going to do? Why don't we do the same thing? Yeah, we're going to do a bass line. So we're going to take the F triad and we're going to take the third up and active. That's actually a nice uh, left hand workout yeah, that we actually can do in, in relationship to a lot of different chords. Yeah? But now let's just start here. Descending. Okay, so now we're going to shorten the harmonic rhythm. Yeah, so two. Um, each, uh, we're going to change chord each two notes on the bass line. Descending.
again. Descending. Okay. Now we're going to break the pattern on the right hand, yeah? Descending. Now we're going to add the bass line. Do it again. Sending. Okay. So, this is just the beginning. Because let's go back. Um, let's uh, let's continue, or let's let's go back to C. Yeah. So let's just descending. A pentatonic scale is a floating scale, yeah, which means it works a little bit different than a basic mode or altered mode or symmetrical or hybrid scale. Yeah, those scales, we can do something called chord pairing. So I can pair, I'm an E-flat Lydian and I can pair maybe an E-flat major. I can pair a Lydian mode with E flat Lydian mode with an E flat major chord, yeah. Nevertheless, here we have something different. We have a pentatonic scale, and that pentatonic scale can float on top of other uh, chord and scale uh, pairings. Yeah, so the uh, one that we were doing, yeah. We can say, oh, I'm having this pentatonic scale and it's sitting on top of a C major scale that is connected with a C major triad or C major 7. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to have this pentatonic scale, but it's going to be sitting on top of this E flat Lydian scale. Yeah, so now, now my harmonic meaning changes. 9, 3, sharp 11, 13, major 7. Yeah, so let's see. See, now it's wow. Yeah, the color changed completely. Yeah, and then uh, if I use a chord symbol, I would be using B flat major 7, sharp 11. Descending. Okay, what else can we do? Actually, we could use the C pentatonic on top of an F major 7 chord, yeah, and that would be a 5, 6, 7, 9, 3, yeah, and then it's. Then I'm gonna change it. So, on the way up, I connected the C pentatonic to an F major 7, F uh, major uh, scale, and descending. I connected this one to a uh, B, flat, uh, B flat major 7 chord. Can I do something else? Yes. How about, can I connect this one, this pentatonic scale, to a D sus? I don't know if I can play this. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try. Yeah, so it's gonna be. Yeah, I'm not going to see it as a D7. Yeah, because I have the G and the G is asking me for a different chord and scale relationship. Yeah, so maybe a D7 sus. That would be nice. Yeah, it's a D7 sus. So that's what I'm thinking. Descending. 
building. Okay, this is very interesting. Again. Oh, oops. Yeah, and I'm already um, did a, a, put the pentatonic scale of C on top first of C major, then on top of F major, then on top of B flat major that created Lydian sound, and then on top of D7 sus. Yeah, and that gives me the flat 7 root 9, gives me the 4th and the 5. Yeah, so, yeah, very, it's, it, they're, they're very interesting things that we can do. Um, I imagine we can have it. Can I put the f this this C on top of a G flat? In altered, that would be my sharp eleven, flat thirteen, flat seven, flat nine, and sharp nine. Yeah, maybe, maybe, and then or yeah, I don't have a perfect fifth in my altered, so I'm gonna do my left hand using a sharp 5. Yeah, so it's a, it's a different sound. So what I did was, I was putting a C pentatonic over an F sharp 7 chord. I mean, I was thinking of an F sharp altered scale. Okay, yeah, so that's our pentatonic, pentatonic scale. Okay, so I wanted to, I want to do something else today. I'm a little bit all over the place and this is fine for me. Okay, so I wanted to, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about reharmonization and I, and I was working with a melody and I took this melody and I reharmonized it in different ways. And I want to share this again because I thought that was so cool. Yes, and uh, so here we go. It's out, okay. What did I do here? I wrote a very basic melody. Yeah. And I have to scroll, unfortunately. Unless, unless you can see. I don't know. Whoops. Okay, can you see? Maybe. Yeah, okay, this is, you can see this one, yeah, yeah, because I want to play, I want to play uh, without having to stop, okay, so very simple, yeah, we're going to start, oh, T, what does T mean, T means target, yeah, target, which means that's a chord that I'm, I'm going to try not to change because I'm, I'm using it as a landmark, yeah? And if I change it, maybe just a bit of the quality, but the root is going to stay the same. Yeah, so why don't we play? One, two, three, and so. Yeah, let's do it again because we're going to work with this. Yeah, we're going to work with this uh, track. Here we go. Three and so.
Okay, nice bluesy melody. And one moment. And we're gonna go now and we're gonna use a different type of technique. Yeah, one moment. Let me close this. Okay. And I'm gonna, yes, I have to, yeah, in order to see all three lines, yeah, I think we can see all three lines. Okay, <clears throat> so now we have the same melody. Yeah, but we're gonna use something. That's why I did the first one. Diatonic technique, reharmonization, diatonic, which means we're gonna emphasize, yeah, some, uh, some chords that are diatonic to the key. And do you know what? Let me change something here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I had the sun. I love the sun, <laughs> but now when it's hitting me directly in the eyes. Okay, so now we're going to start. Yeah, so we have the one minor. And then we have an E flat major, flat three is the third degree. Then we have the flat six. So So we have a flat six over five. We have a six minor seven flat five. That comes from the melodic minor. So why don't we uh, why don't we uh, play again? See, T. Yeah. So I respect it, and I ended up on the F minor seven. so this is our first reharmonization yeah and we emphasized uh, most most of the yeah, in this this section this is a 2 5 that is not in C minor but you know and what else is not in C minor well well we we can go to other to other minor a uh, parallel minor co uh, places you know like here on the uh, fourth beat uh, fourth measure th uh, third beat a minor seven. Yeah, A minor 7, flat 5. Yeah, that's a 6 degree and melodic minor. What else, what else, what else? C7 sus 4. I think the notes are still in Aeolian mode, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna call it uh, diatonic. Okay, this D minor. Yeah, so this D minor is from a uh, parallel melodic. And now I'm out. Then I have my Aeolian chord. Yeah. So let's 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 play again. Three and Okay, cool, 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 coolness, coolness, coolness. So now we're gonna go to the next part. Let me close this. No, not this one. This one. Yeah, and let me. Okay. Yeah, this. Yeah, this will be good enough. And we can see. Yeah, it's yeah. The chords are kind of big. Yeah, so this is fine. This is fine. Okay, <clears throat> now what techniques are we going to use here? I call this dominant, dominant techniques because we're going to emphasize some dominant chord progressions, yeah, or dominant chords, even chain of dominance, substitute dominance, whatever dominance, yeah, we were going to throw in there, yeah, okay. 
So first chord. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of analyze before. Yeah, chord by chord. Okay, we have our one minor. This this is kind of uh, a dominant sus, isn't it, on the C? Yeah, and then we have this B7. Yeah, five seven off three in major by, or maybe a, a sub five of the flat seven. I don't know if that chord exists. And then we have an E flat seven. Yeah. D7, sharp 9, yeah, and then we have this chord that I, D flat, 7, sharp 11, and then we go back to our sus, and then we have an F minor, and then we have another dominant but sus with our D9, and I love this chord. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sus but with a flat nine. Yeah, now we're gonna have D7 altered. Yeah, yeah. And our D flat seven, uh, uh, 13, sharp 11, nine. And then B7, B flat seven spot sus, changing the color. Yeah, we have an A. And okay, yeah, so that was very nice actually. Yeah, that was a very nice um, harmonization of the melody. Yeah, we're not touching the melody, we're respecting the T's, so yeah, which are the target chords. Yeah, so here we have we're, we're, we're gonna play. Good. So that was dominant, yeah. Uh, I'm, I was going to analyze everything with red ink, everything, but you know, I didn't have time. I didn't have time. So I know you can uh, ex excuse my lack of time. So now we're going to do something super cool. We're going to work with model interchange. Yeah, model interchange. Is that? Yes, it is model interchange. So remember what we did when we were harmonizing our diatonic degrees, yeah, early on today. Yeah, we were working with model interchange. So if we're going to define model interchanges, yeah, we're going to try to stay within a certain key center and we're going to be shifting modes. Yeah, traditional and more in traditional music or pop, usually we went between major and minor. But here we have all this plethora of parallel scales and chord pairings that we're going to take advantage. Yeah, we still have the T's, yeah, which uh, means that I'm going to do my best to not change the chord, uh, not change the chord. Here I changed it uh, from a minor 7 to a, a sus, but I didn't change the root, so I, I respect it, yeah. And here this F minor, I just added some extensions. And everything else, everything else, everything else is fine. So let's see. Yeah, so we have now melodic and aeolian symmetrical diminish major. Yeah, mid so we have I don't know what it is in local natural nine. Now we go into F. Yeah. And uh, 
I don't know what this is. Now we're gonna change finally. So now, what did we do? Okay, so we're in minor, Aeolian, but now we went to melodic. I love this chord, yeah, it's very Aeolian-ish, yeah, the flat six or the three. Yeah, we went to the parallel symmetrical diminish. Now I'm gonna go to the parallel major. Okay, parallel mixo. And this might be minor, yeah, minor, but now I'm in the parallel locker natural nine. Okay, now we're gonna go to F, yeah, we're gonna go to F, and then we have, I love this chord. Okay, locker and major, parallel diminished, back to the minor one, make solidian, and then I'm gonna change everything. Okay, so now we're in G, we're in G. Yeah, and what are we doing here? I'm, I'm going to the parallel Locrian, I think. Parallel Fr uh, Phrygian. And parallel um, uh, uh, Lydian. Which parallel this one is? Okay, so now we're gonna play. Let's let's see if we can play. Okay, and we have one more, one more before we finish class today. Today is Reharm Day. Everything goes. Well, it's not really everything goes, yeah? Eh, eh. You, we call it in theory non-functional, which is in a, it's in a serious it's a serious term for everything goes. Yeah, non-functional. And although it's non-functional, you're gonna see there is a lot of things that could be explained functionally. Yeah, but um, maybe maybe if it gives the the players too much of a headache, yeah, oh non-functional. Okay, so we're gonna start. Tra What did we do? What did we do? What did we do? We have a one minor. That dominant seven doesn't go, it can be, a, you know, the five seven of two, but there is no two. But then we have this chord. E major seven over F sharp. That could be an F sharp kind of sus with nine and 13. And how can we explain it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> then we have this. This is my favorite Aeolian chord. Okay, E7. E7. 
What is an E7 in the key of C minor? That would be a 5-7 of 6, but the 6 major, yeah? So it's kind of strange. Okay, A flat, A flat minor 7, yeah? Again, maybe, I don't know what that chord would be in C minor. Yeah, and then my favorite chord, yeah? I'm going here to a sus with a flat 9. Maybe I can add a 13 too. Yeah, make it a little bit more, more radelish. Okay, now I'm back into the four. Okay, going to the four major. Yeah, and now we are two five that is not related. I love this chord and then this movement. Yeah. And this one is actually a diatonic, yeah, because it's the two minor seven flat five in thirteen version. So yeah, let's let's play. Okay, this is it, yeah? So what have we covered? Yeah, we did a very basic melody. And then we harmonize it in, in, in many different ways. Yeah, many different ways. Okay. So, thank you for being with me in this live broadcast. We covered a lot of material, and we're going to continue to do so in our next class. I'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Until then, have a wonderful week. Practice your instrument every day. And listen, and play lots of good music. See you next week.